If you are a Town Hall 12 player and your heroes is under upgrade, and you still wants to destroy your opponent base without them, so you are in a right place, because in this video, I am going to show you top 3 Town Hall 12 strategies where heroes have no role. So hey guys, welcome back to the Stealth YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you the top 3 mind-blowing TH12 strategies that doesn't rely on heroes, this strategies can crush your any maxed opponent base so easily. So without wasting your precious time let's start this countdown. At number 3, we have the Go Witch Bats attack strategy. I will provide you the army copy link in the description. This army can easily crush any base layout, but the key to success in this strategy is the Grand Warden. He plays a crucial role in controlling our attack, which is why I placed this one at number 3. So let's plan our attack. First, we will drop our three witches on these corners, and once they destroy a few buildings, we will drop our ice golems. Our ice golems will go straight for these archer towers and provide tanking to our witches, and they will clear these sides. After that, we will drop our two super wall breakers to open these walls from corners. Then we will drop our golems, backing up with a straight line of witches, log launcher, and grand warden. We will use his ability when eagle artillery shots are about to hit our troops. Our golems and witches will flank on sides and distract all defenses, and our log launcher will go straight to the town hall, we will open our log launcher near the enemy queen, and drop a rage spell on our CC troops. With the rage ability, our CC and other troops will kill the enemy queen and destroy the town hall. Then we will wait for them to clear this section of the base. This will result in a straight path for our bats. We will drop our bat spells on this site, and use freeze spells on top of wizard towers to keep them safe. Our bats will destroy the defenses, and our troops will clear the rest of the buildings. I know this may sound confusing. Let's start this attack to clear your doubts. This mortars is placed outside, so I decide to destroy them with wizards, so it will not create any problem later. Let's move to another side and drop our three witches on each side, and let them destroy some buildings. Then we will drop our ice golems. This army can easily crush any base layout, even if all infernos are set on multi-target. But I recommend you to only attack single target inferno base layouts as we don't have heroes. So, we have opened these walls and dropped our ice golems, let them make enough funnel for our troops. Making a good funnel is really important in every strategies. Now let's deploy our golems. A straight line of witches, grand warden, and log launcher. The golems are our tanky giants, leading the charge and soaking up damage, and the witches summon skeletons that destroy enemy defenses. Our troops will flank on the side, and we will use our warden ability to protect them. I tried this army so many times without using a single hero, but I failed to 3 stars in most of my attacks. This is why I decided to keep the warden in this strategy, but if your warden is under upgrade so don't worry. In the next strategies, I am not going to use any single heroes, so please stay connected. So, we have dropped the rage spell as our log launcher opens. Now let these guys destroy the town hall and carve the section that we want, then we will drop our bat spells. Bats move with insane speed, and a large group of bats can easily destroy any defense they target. Looks like our troops created a enough funnel, let's deploy our bats and let them do their magic. We will use our freeze spells on top of wizard's towers to keep our bats safe. Bats don't do a lot of damage, but they have power in numbers. The group of bats can easily break through the enemy's defenses really fast. They'll also distract the defenses, giving our other troops time to destroy trash buildings. My next attack strategies are going to be amazing and super easy, and you won't even need a single hero for them. Let's finish this attack first, and don't forget to like this video. At number 2, we have the Blizzard Lava Loons attack strategy. This is a simple yet highly effective strategy, even if you don't have any heroes. Let's plan our attack. Before attacking any base layouts you have to check for the air sweepers, town hall, and air defenses. Because town hall explosion can kill our all loons instantly, air sweepers can push our loon and battle blimp, that can ruin our attacks, and air defenses take down our troops. Let me show you how to deal with them. 
So first we will drop our one lava hound here, and then we will release our battle blimp behind it. Our lava hound will distract the defenses and go towards to this air defense, while our blimp will go straight for the town hall. Once our blimp reaches the core, we will drop one invisible spell and manually open the blimp on top of it, by doing this our wizards will safely came out of our CC. Once our super wizards are out, we will immediately drop one more invisible, clone and rage spell. With the rage ability our all super wizards will become unstoppable and start destroying the core, and we will use the remaining invisible spells every 4 seconds to keep them safe. Super wizards chain attack is really powerful, and with the rage ability our super wizards will take down the town hall, eagle artillery, all air defenses, and clear the core of the base. Then all we have to do is use our lava loons to clear the pending defenses. We will drop our lava hound to distract the defenses, and we will drop small packs of our loons to destroy them. We will also use our ice golem for tanking and haste spells to quickly destroy heavily defenses areas. And our minions to clear the trash buildings. Sound easy right? Let's start this attack. We will start this attack by deploying our lava hound followed with battle blimp. Always try to drive your blimp so that it will reach the most heavy defended area and near to the town hall so that our super wizards get maximum value. Here air sweepers help my blimp to perfectly reach the core. In this strategy you have to respond quickly otherwise your attack will be a failure. Drop the spells on correct order to get the maximum advantage of your blizzard. It's simple first drop one invisible and let the wizards come out, then you have to drop rage and invisible on every 4 seconds to keep them alive. You have to take down the town hall with blizzards, otherwise it will really dangerous for our attack. Look at the power of blizzards we gain 29% of this base in just few seconds. I have dropped the baby dragon to completely clear the site. I highly recommend you to watch the blizzard part again, so that you can learn the spell's deployment and timing. Let's start our lava loons by dropping our lava hound and small packs of loons to target multiple defenses, we will also use our haste spell to speed up the process. As we don't have so many troop space in this strategy, so I decided to add ice golem to provide some more tanking to our loons. Don't forgot to deploy minions to clear the back. Our blizzards killed the enemy queen, but if she survived so we will use our two headhunters together to get the rid of her. And hey! Please hit the like and subscribe button if you found this video helpful, because your one click really motivates me to make more amazing videos for you. And share this video with your clan mates to help them to improve their gameplay too. This video can help all th12 players as we all faced problems while attacking when our heroes is under upgrade. This base is now crushed, and we still have lots of loons left. Let's finish this attack quickly as I am excited to show the next strategy. At number 1, we have Electro Drag Super Archer's Blimp Strategy. Electro Dragons is one of the strongest troops in Clash of Clans, and with Super Archer's Blimp, they can destroy even the toughest base. Let me show you how to execute this strategy. The basic of this strategy is similar to our previous attack, but we are using Super Archers in our CC instead of Super Wizards, and added one more clone spell. So first we will drop our Lava Hound backing up with Battle Blimp. Once our battle blimp is about to reach the core, we will drop invisible spell and manually open our blimp on top of it. We will drop two clones, rage and another invisible spell on top of our super archers. Our clone super archers with rage ability will start destroying the buildings and we will use invisible spells on every 4 seconds to keep them safe. With this process they will easily destroy the whole core of the base. Then we will deploy our electro dragons and loons. They will all flank on this base and move like this to clear the rest of the buildings and defenses. It was easy to grab right, so let's start this attack. Let me tell you the difference and reason behind using super archers and super wizards. Using a super wizards blimp is a powerful strategy, especially in bases where buildings are close to each other. They work well in such bases because their chain strike ability can easily destroy multiple buildings in one go. However, the Super Archer's Blimp strategy is good when dealing with spread out bases where buildings have some space between them. Super Archers can deal a lot of damage, especially to the town hall and nearby buildings, when we use the Rage and Double Clone spells. 
their arrows can shoot through the walls, reaching multiple targets at a long distance and destroying them. In compact bases they are really useful, and you can just check the value in this attack as an example. Now let's deploy our all electro dragons and balloons. Always spread your electro dragons like this so that they will target multiple buildings at once. The reason for placing this strategy at number 1 is that, you don't need to worry about the enemy heroes or defending queen. Our electro dragons will take them down by their own, and as our super archers destroyed most of the powerful enemy defenses, our electro dragons will easily clear the pending base. After the super archers you just have to spread your electro dragons, and they will do their work. All you have to do now is wait, and guys, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It took so much hard work and days to create this videos for you. Your one click means a lot to me and gives me the motivation to work hard and provide you the best strategies. I am going to stay quiet for now so that you can enjoy this video.